Hey guys, Scrooge Crush here, and I'm here with another Minecraft Forge Mod tutorial. And today we're showing you how to um add a proxy to your uh, to your mod. Okay, so what a proxy is is you can use it to um like it's mainly the graphical side things, so like the way things look. Um, like we can just like custom block models, custom mod models, etc. And it can also be used to like add key registries. So you can like, uh, bind a certain key on the keyboard, so, like open up a new menu or something like that. You can add a custom menu to mod, or you can even use it to um, what's that? What did I say? Oh yeah, do a tick registry. So like it can check if the player is wearing a certain type of armor to see if um like if it's wearing this armor, want you to do uh, trigger this event, like give them a potion effect or something like that. Okay, so the way we do this is we actually have to type something inside of our main class, which is the main registry. I want to type at sided proxy. Okay. Bracket client side. I'm going to set this equal to our package, which is we'll set we'll, we'll, we'll create these classes inside of our main package, which will be inside of com project dot main. And then we call this dot client proxy then comma same thing again but dot server proxy like that okay oh sorry you also have to do server side okay that's on I cannot see a thing I'm just gonna this room because I also can't see the screen, the screen on my computer. Okay, anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Control Shift L. This is gonna error because these classes don't actually exist. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna right click on our, our main package, hit New Class, and I'm gonna call this Server Proxy. And then I'm gonna hit Finish. Okay, what I'm gonna type in here, I'm actually gonna create a method because. Um, this is the main one you're going to want to use for your um, micro model together. So we're just going to add one method from now and then we'll continue to add it, add it on the future. And the way we do this, if we go public, public, void, register, render, things. Okay. Save. Okay, I'm going to format this. Like so... And then what we're going to do, we're going to right click again on our package and hit new class. And we're going to call this client, client proxy. Like so. so we're going to hit finish. And then what we're going to do to the client proxy, it's actually going to extend our server proxy. So we're going to type extends server proxy. Okay. And now we're going to type in that same method again. We're going to go public void register render things and what this should do this is actually override the method if I hopefully like so yep override that we'll hit save <clears throat> okay so now we'll go back to our main registry and underneath tidy proxy we're gonna type we're gonna create a variable and this variable is gonna be public say okay, public variable public it's also gonna be static because it's gonna go inside of one of these and we're going to call this very uh, we're going to make this variable a server proxy variable. I'm going to call this proxy. Okay. So now what we're going to do we're going to go to our preload method, and we're going to type proxy dot register render things. Okay. And that's it. Okay. So what we've done we've actually um, registered register the proxy classes which is for our client proxy and our server proxy we've registered them we've created them and made the client proxy extend the server proxy and also make it override its method and we've also created a variable inside of our inside of our main registry which is called proxy which ex which is a variable of server proxy and then we've actually registered that into our preload method okay so like I said, you can use key registries, tick handlers, and also mainly graphical things. Okay, like models. Okay, so anyway guys, thanks for watching. This has been the Grudge Project 01. I know it's been a short tutorial, but yeah, it's a very simple tutorial. Okay, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later.